Hi guys. Thought I'd take a closer look at some of the boards that came out of that server. So, as these are on the top, I'll start with these. The memory banks. Right. So to get these out, I need a flathead screwdriver. I just held in with this cage with four screws, one in each corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take those out. Screws are captured screws, so they're not going to fly everywhere, in theory. remember either how much RAM is in each module now. 16 gigs I think. I think. So in theory it should just lift off. And it gives us access to the modules. Now, this does have some stickers on it. Install pairs in the sequence, it's got written on there. That's uh, pretty much it for that. Anyway, just like your normal PC RAM, sit down. Cool. They're a bit tight though, but you flick down a little catches at the end, and that will release each memory module. exactly the same from the look of it. As you tell me what they are on that 512 megs. And I think that's what they all are. Yeah. So there's one gig, two gig is three gigs. Three so six gigabytes of uh, memory. And not all these cards are actually I is it because I got that one round the other way. No, it looks like some RAM modules may have been replaced because um, there's a couple in there that look different. Here's our board. Don't ask me what anything does, I'm just showing you, I ain't got a clue. Look like there's some sort of processor chips on here. And as there's two, I would assume that's one for each bank. Can't see what's got written on it. Uh, two sa double triple zero two USA. No. Well, this one's got. Well, this one is the same as well. It's just a bit warm. Uh, there are some numbers on there. I might Google those numbers later. So there's, there's the eight slots in total. There's not a lot on the other side. Some kind of shield. That's the big ass connector. Now, I'm not going to pull the other one apart because that's just exactly the same. I will eventually, but not in this video. So, that's pretty much what. All she, all she, eh, pretty much all she wrote for that. I can take the shield off, I think. But undo a couple of screws. I just know there's one here and one there. Wrong bit. Let me just grab a bit and I'll see if I can get the shield off and we'll have a quick look under there. Oh, I've got another one missing out here. That's not good. One missing is It'll be in the bedroom somewhere. I know that one's the T15.
found some more. <laughs> a bit more than I thought. Four down each side as well. I'm doing this as fast as I can. As fast as my little stubby fingers will go. Some short stubby fingers are really, really useful, and other times they're a pain in the ass. I suppose people with long fingers would actually say the same thing. Now, hopefully... Yay. There's the shield. Uh, Alright, after all that, there's three chips, and that's it. <laughs> That is it. Just those three chips right there. And... Now I can't quite read them. 97ANYJK. They're all the same, and there's a number underneath as well. What do I call VC... Just double one six eight three two. They're all the same. All three are the same. Right. So I'll put these to one side. I'll just show you that there is a slight difference. You might be able to pick up a different colour. This has got more of a brown tinge on the um, PCB, and this one hasn't. This is more green. But other than that, they do look pretty much the same. Exactly the same layout. So I'm guessing one might be newer than the other. I'm just seeing if there's any... Made in Puerto Rico. But that one. Yep. Puerto Rico. Yes, yeah, so there's a couple of those green ones in here, but the rest are all... Yeah, just two. So maybe two got replaced at some point in its life. And the same on the other bank here. I can see a couple in there. I'll take that part later. Drop these on the floor for the time being. I have got the motherboard itself down here, but... I end up doing that in another video. Right. One of the other things I pulled out were four of these. Uh, I'm not even sure what they are myself. One more. Where is it? Oh yeah, and one of those I pulled out. We'll do these next. I'll pick up these four. No, I didn't. <laughs> and, um, there should be four of these boards, which I assume are some kind of network card. Optical, maybe, from the look of that. They do look like optical sockets on there. We've got a Tachyon Agilent chip here. Agilent? Mm. The only reason I recognise that name is because I watch the EEV blog. There's a lot of um, test equipment that use the Agilent name. I don't know, is it the same thing? Hong Kong L2A0729. There's several other numbers on there as well. Oh, it's got Ethernet written on this sticker. I don't look like an Ethernet port to me. And then there's a TPI I chip here. And there's one there which is actually upside down. Which is a Vitesse. Vitesse. It's got Siemens written on this, so whatever this card is, it's a Siemens, I'm guessing. Or at least the um, sockets here are Siemens. Ah, it's fiber channel. That's what it is. Says it right there, HP Fiber Channel. Should be four, but I seem to have um, neglected to pick the fourth one up. But these are all. Yep, yeah, I'm looking at the boards, they are all the same. 
the same chips on them, so a date code on them. Christmas lights have fallen down behind me. <laughs> I can't see a date code. Oh yeah, 99. So we've got that. But I know the machine is newer, so they're obviously used to some older parts. I'm not sure what this is. It's some kind of uh, interface connector from the look of it. With an LSI chip here. I think that if I'm reading that right, that's a 99 as well. Ooh. I've actually got no idea what this is. Does it have a... No, this device complies with bloody blah blah. 1999 LSI logic. All rights reserved, so... Whatever this is, LSI logic. <laughs> that answer's on a postcard, if anyone knows. Let me know. What should we look at next? What's the, oh, there's the fourth one. I thought that was something else when I was looking at it. Never mind. Here's the hard drive board. Two hard drive sockets. Weird hard drive sockets at that. It's a shame I've got no way to uh, connect it. SCSI address A, SCSI address B, that one's A, that one's B. A couple of these little, I don't know if they're onboard memory chips from the look of it. Of course, I could be wrong, and I could just be talking out my ass for some of this. <laughs> Micro strip, strip line, they don't seem to be installed on the board. There's not a lot to that, really, is there? Uh, that's what the other things are, they're capacitors, I thought they were. Well, I think they are, it's got CS. Oh no, do it's a 5, not a four. S. Yeah, capacitors. All surface mount stuff. Naturally, I wouldn't have expected anything else on this. This board also came out from where the hard drives is, went rather. And that plugged into this smaller header here uh, made in the USA it seems like the metal work was all made in the USA I thought so it could be the T5 that's the T10 right so what I'm going to do is just take out the four screws that hold this to the board hopefully I didn't bring my other tool through, so if these are a bit too tight, that might give me a bit of a problem. There we go. I'd be wondering if I could super glue it back in. That would help it. But I don't know if it'll hold it under the force, you see. I think a glue gun, but I think that would uh, do the same. No, there's nothing underneath. It's got another shield of some sort there. Or maybe it's, ah, it's probably just a caddy actually looking at that. Because these two screws, screws on the end there, they screwed in at the top. It's another interesting board. I haven't found anything I can salvage on it, any of these boards yet. Ah, this might be why it didn't work. <laughs> I think I found the issue. Or perhaps one of many issues. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but there's a lot of green corrosion around this chip here. So there's probably some dead shorts there. Ooh, some four sets of dip switches. Lots of capacitors and other bits and pieces. But that might have been why it died. And if this is quite an old server, it was probably hard to get the parts for, and I probably thought, sod it, we'll just get a new one, there's the hard drive, I still haven't found out how big this thing is. 
SCSI date 2003. What might bet this is actually a newer hard drive? That's probably what threw my dating off, actually. I bet this hard drive is a lot newer than the actual um, system server itself. No. Quite a bit of weight in there, you know. Yeah, I'm getting close to my time limit now, so I'll do the uh, motherboard in another video, because there's a fair bit on there to look at anyway. Um, two of these big old boards, they are what had all the um, PCI stuff in. This stuff, which I'm probably fitting a standard PCI slot. I doubt it will do anything, but. Yeah. Some HP. Probably HP custom chips here. Perhaps processor chips, maybe. Just trying to see if these are labelled. Labelled it with a Q. Q6, 7, 26, 28. 10, 12, 14, 16, 22, 24, 18. Okay, so they're not even labelled in numerical order for some reason. Screw that. Ah, I don't know what that's holding on. Hmm. I bet if I found that board, I could have probably got this working, but. Too late now. Took it apart. What have we got on this side? Anything? No, just a row of capacitors. I'm not sure what this is. It goes around on both sides. There's a clip on each end. It looks like some sort of um, core of some sort. Going around. Oh, I see. They've got an exact same row on this side. Again, these just look like some RAM chips or something similar. There isn't really a lot on these additional boards, really. There's the other one. Now, I'm not sure what this one is, but there's only one of these in there. And there's two rows of three of these. And that's got on the top, on the sticker, 9935, so 35th week, 1999, 83810. Yep, and they're all numbered the same. You've got whatever these are up here, small chips of some sort. Got this one. I really need my magnifying glass. I should have thought of getting that. Taiwan. So I think we can actually safely. Ooh. Well, that might have been a problem as well because that just broke in my hand. <laughs> it's just completely fell off. <laughs> okay, so there might have been a lot of age related problems with this, I think. Oh, that's only surface mount. That's probably why it fell off. It's not through hole. I suppose with something that tall, a surface mount, that might be pretty easy to knock off. I don't know what the board is though. It's got A3639-6000 8 revision B1. Or is that B? The B might. No, it is an 8. Uh, made in Malaysia. Nothing on the back side. Some sort of stamp down the corner here. But that, is, that is it. That is it for all the um, additional boards that were put in. So what I'm going to do, because I've only got eight minutes left, I'll shut this down. Getting quite a full card, so I'm going to transfer the footage to the PC. And then the next video will be about that one. So... Thanks a lot for uh, watching. If the 
you got any questions, you want any numbers off these chips, leave them in the comment section below, because I will um, be keeping these boards for a while yet. I don't plan to get rid of them anytime soon, so if you want to know more about them, feel free to drop a question. That's why I actually st stacked them all in this box. So I can just do this. There we go. Yeah, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more random techie sort of videos. If I'd call them that. I'm not an expert. So <laughs> I know how to put them together and take them apart, and that's about it. <laughs> um, when it comes to all the nitty gritty microchips and whatnot, then uh, that's pretty much my limit. Anyway. Guess I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.